the line Baby, he's in Judah, sleep I wonder who will wake him, bring him to his feet Speak now, or forever hold your peace The f- There's a line Where he's in Judah, sleep I wonder who will wake him, bring him to his feet Speak now, or forever hold your peace January 5th, 2023, at 3.11 p.m. T.O., the general public, fair use to help the people, GBR. Traffic officers make an arrest for the tragic hit and run, which resulted in the death of a 16-year-old. On Saturday, December 9th, 2023, at approximately 6.15 p.m., a 16-year-old male, Samuel Johnson, Jr., was walking in the 3900 block of Inner Perimeter Road. Johnson saw a dog that had been hit by an unknown vehicle, so he went to assist the injured dog. While trying to rescue the injured dog, Johnson was struck and killed by second vehicle traveling through the area. On December 11, 2023, immediately after a press release was issued with a Possible vehicle description, Logan Garrett Jones, 35 years of age, came to the police department to talk with officers. Jones cooperated with officers and took them to his residence where his vehicle was located. His vehicle was seized and taken to the Valdosta Lounge Regional Crime Laboratory for processing. Evidence was collected from Jones' vehicle and was sent to the Georgia Bureau of Investigation's Crime Laboratory for Analysis. The Valdosta Police Department Traffic Unit contacted the Child's Advocacy Center, CAC, for all the juveniles who were involved and witnessed the incident to be forensically interviewed. On January 3, 2024, several juveniles were interviewed by the CAC. After that, Interviews were completed, officers consulted with an assistant district attorney, and it was determined to move forward with formal charges on 
Jones. On January 5, 2024, officers obtained arrest warrants on Jones for homicide by vehicle in the first degree felony, driving hit and run resulting in serious injury or death felony, too fast for conditions misdemeanor, and reckless driving misdemeanor. Officers contacted Jones at his residence, where he was taken into custody. Without incident, Jones has been taken to Lowndes County Jail. Officers have collected evidence that several vehicles traveled through the 3900 block of Inner Perimeter Road on December 9, 2023, between the times of 6.10 p.m. and 6.30 p.m., and we are still asking for anyone who was in that area, please contact our traffic unit. The police department has been working closely with the Southern Judicial Circuit District Attorney's Office, as well as the Child's Advocacy Center, throughout each step of this investigation to help the victim's mother and father as they try to move forward after this tragic event. If anyone has any information, please contact the Valdosta Police Department Traffic Unit at 229-242-2602, the crime tip line at 229-293-3091, or file a tip online at www.valdostacity.com slash police dash department. January 5, 2023, at 3.11 p.m. T.O., the general public, fair use to help the people, GBR. Traffic officers make an arrest for the tragic hit and run, which resulted in the death of a 16-year-old. On Saturday, December 9, 2023, at approximately 6.15 p.m., a 16-year-old male, Samuel Johnson, Jr., was walking in the 3900 block of Inner Perimeter Road. Johnson saw a dog that had been hit by an unknown vehicle, so he went to assist the injured dog. While trying to rescue the injured dog, Johnson was struck and killed by second vehicle traveling through the area. On December 11, 2023, immediately after a press release was issued with a Possible vehicle description, Logan Garrett Jones, 35 years of age, came to the police department to talk with officers. Jones cooperated with officers and took them to his residence where his vehicle was located. His vehicle was seized and taken to the Valdosta Lounge Regional Crime Laboratory for processing. Evidence was collected from Jones' vehicle and was sent to the Georgia Bureau of Investigation's Crime Laboratory for Analysis. The Valdosta Police Department Traffic Unit contacted the Child's Advocacy Center, CAC, for all the juveniles who were involved and witnessed the incident to be forensically interviewed. On January 3, 2024, several juveniles were interviewed by the CAC. After that, Interviews were completed, officers consulted with an assistant district attorney, and it was determined to move forward with formal charges on Jones. On January 5, 2024, officers obtained arrest warrants on Jones for homicide by vehicle in the first-degree felony, driving hit and run resulting 
in serious injury or death felony, too fast for conditions misdemeanor, and reckless driving misdemeanor. Officers contacted Jones at his residence, where he was taken into custody. Without incident, Jones has been taken to Lowndes County Jail. Officers have collected evidence that several vehicles traveled through the 3900 block of Inner Perimeter Road on December 9, 2023, between the times of 6.10 p.m. and 6.30 p.m., and we are still asking for anyone who was in that area, please contact our traffic unit. The police department has been working closely with the Southern Judicial Circuit District Attorney's Office, as well as the Child's Advocacy Center, throughout each step of this investigation to help the victim's mother and father as they try to move forward after this tragic event. If anyone has any information, please contact the Valdosta Police Department Traffic Unit at 229-242-2602, the crime tip line at 229-293-3091, or file a tip online at www.valdostacity.com slash police dash department. If I had a hundred sheep and one of them got away, I would leave the 99 and go find that one. That's right. I look from the locks and jaws of Satan, I come creating, penetrating with force from the land of the Lord. Some come like Muhammad got the devil on the run. run. Rise like the sun, keep your eyes on the one. Lord right. the base. Then to bring forth a reborn nation, up against the norm, creating a new formation. Right. This foundation that I be standing on is firm. Look, y'all, we must learn, or as a people, we gon' burn, burn in the fire. fire. Let's join hands with the Messiah, the land be light. For real, I ain't no lie, and my deepest desire be to resurrect the cops. Breathe like venom, then squeeze out all the venom with momentum and skill. We'll kill Satan at will. You and I be connected, protected by his evil will for real. I can sense a mental explosion on the move as God's chose. Proceeding in motion, we become, yes, indeed, the parts of form. Running the battle, her, cause Babylon is falling, living all in the midst of devilish anguish. His aim is to kill us all with this language. He's the mischief maker. Plus, he's wicked by nature, the modern mind shape. So, hey, will Jacob wake up the line? He's in Judah sleep. I wonder who will wake him. Bring him to his feet. Speak now or forever hold your peace. The violence of this beast must cease. Look out, I see a lion. Well, he's in Judah sleep. I wonder who will wake him. Bring him to his feet. Speak now or forever hold your peace. The violence of this beast must cease. Now look for four days, he's been sleeping in the tomb Fed like the zoom, no light, it's like the moon It's blood, it's be maroon, plus it covers the earth Crucified daily, and waiting this new birth For real, the truth hurts the wicked evil to what he knows That the future will bring a new ruler So look, don't let him fool you with his maneuvers and wisdom Seeking you'll find that he uses symbolism With this rhythm, black will represent the hesitant brain Hit the water down the flames and sort out the remains Everything must change, nothing stays the same Our struggle's been ordained, so just chill, maintain I know it's strange, but look, one came to raise us up Farad has arrived, beware, don't self-destruct, keep the focus The red dragon's coming with the locusts Some don't notice, so they engage in shit that's bogus But look like Moses, I'ma free you from your bondage From those who oppress us, wicked, evil, demonics I promise that I'ma flunk is everywhere I go My people gotta know So I can't hold it in no more For real The pressure's on And that be the fact We gotta resurrect quick If we expect to be here after Look I can see disaster It's all in our midst It's the shock of the hour Man the clock be stuck on six I wonder Who can fix this Problem from Zion I'm in the wilderness Trying, trying to wake a dead lion There's a lion Where? He's in Judah Asleep I wonder who will wake him Bring him to his feet Speak now Or forever hold your peace The balance of this beast must cease. Look out, I see the light. Where he's in Judah sleep. I wonder who will wake him. Bring him to his feet. Speak now or forever hold your peace. The balance of this beast must cease. Now peep these bones as they lie. Still drying the valley. 
buried under rubbish Darkness covers the body, there's no consciousness There's no breathing, no pause Walking dead in Israel, be that sheet that's lost Line Got it by the false image, they don't know what sin is In their forehead be a mark that reach crooked menace It's continuous bleeding, therefore repentance is needed Wickedness can be defeated when we submit it's deleted This beast be heated, he knows the fire's kindling The curtains in that land of Midian be trembling I see a symbol in large number, many men Coming from out the grave to never go back in again Lazarus, come forth, remove that napkin, take it off The force be with you, so lie and let him hear your voice I can hear the roars, coming from daily tribal wars Flesh wounds and scars, be like all over the stars In the river of blood, we be swimming in sin I see the lesbian and the million feminine men These days be numbered, the end is right in sight Behold, he comes quick, like the thief in the night At the head of 10,000, he be moving the fight Burning holes at his feet, look, observe the plight In the bottom of the they be falling, still dying Who can save the lion and bring him home to Zion There's a lion where he's in Judah's sleep I wonder who will wake, bring him to his feet Speak now or forever hold your peace The balance of this beast must cease Look out, I see the lion where he's in Judah's sleep I wonder who will wake, bring him to his feet Speak now or forever hold your peace The balance of this beast must cease There's a lion where he's in Judah's sleep I wonder who will wake, bring him to his feet Speak now, or forever hold your peace. The balance of this beast must see. There's a lion. Wait, wait. I wonder who can break him. Get up, lion. Did you think he's gonna stay down forever? <laughs> a new day. 199 Shepherd. Be with him. I wonder who can him. For 442 goddamn damnable years. <laughs> the top is just too late. Strict. Don't stop. Another Georgia high school football player killed. Samuel Johnson Jr., comma, New York Post. Killed in hit and run after stopping to aid injured dog. By social links for Olivia Land. Published December 14, 2023, 2.54 p.m. Eastern Time. A Georgia high school football player was killed in a hit and run while trying to save an injured dog and local police are still working to identify and arrest the culprit. Samuel Johnson Jr., 16, was walking down a street in Valdosta around 6.15 p.m. Saturday when he noticed an injured dog in the road, the Valdosta. Police Department said. Johnson saw a dog that had been hit by an unknown vehicle, so he went to assist the injured dog. While trying to rescue the injured dog, Johnson was struck and killed by a second vehicle traveling through the area, the department's official statement read. The car that hit Johnson did not stop, and a passerby later found the team lying in a grass median while the now-deceased dog lay in the road, police said. Johnson was subsequently pronounced dead at the scene. Johnson was a Outside linebacker on the celebrated Valdosta High School Wildcats football team, the team's roster showed. His teammates and coaches were heartbroken and devastated by his sudden death, the team's official statement on Instagram said. Samuel Johnson Jr. was fatally struck by a car on Saturday. Valdosta Wildcat football slash Instagram. holding his yellow football helmet up in the air amid a throng of teammates the car that struck Johnson was identified as a dark colored Dodge Charger with damage on the driver's side front bumper Valdosta police said the car was located and taken into custody on Monday the department announced the Valdosta police department did not immediately return the posts request for a comment
WALB reporting, January 5th, 2024 article. Man facing homicide charge and fatal hit and run of Valdosta teen. He is currently in the Lowndes County Jail. By Seth Feiner. Published, January 5th. 2024 at 3.43 p.m. Eastern Standard Time updated, January 5, 2024 at 3.57 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. WB, a man is now facing several charges, including Homicide by vehicle in connection to the death of a 16-year-old Valdosta High school football player On December 9, 2023, Samuel Johnson was killed after a vehicle hit him. While he was checking on an injured dog that was in the roadway of the 3900 block of Inner Perimeter Road. The Valdosta Wildcat football team is mourning the loss of one of their student athletes, Sam Johnson Jr., Valdosta Touchdown Club On December 11th, after Valdosta police released the vehicle description Seeking a suspect in the case, Logan Jones, 35, came to the police station and later brought officers to his car After forensic tests had been done on the car and witnesses were interviewed, officials' charges were filed for an arrest On January 5, 2024, Jones was arrested and charged with first degree homicide by vehicle, driving hit and run, resulting in serious injury or death. Too fast for conditions and reckless driving. He is currently in the Lowndes County Jail. Anyone who may have been on or near the 3900 block of Inner Perimeter Road on December 9, 2023, between the times of 6.10 p.m. and 6.30 p.m. is Asked to contact the VPD Traffic Unit at 229-242-2606 or submit a tip here. Copyright 2024, WALB. All rights reserved. Funeral arrangements announced for Valdosta football player killed and hit. And run. By Fox 5 Atlanta Digital Team. Published December 14, 2023. Georgia. Fox 5 Atlanta. Valdosta, Georgia final arrangements have been announced for a Valdosta. Teen and high school football player who was killed by a hit and run driver. While he was checking on an injured dog. Police say Samuel Johnson Jr. was walking in the 3900 block of Inner. Perimeter Road on December 9th when he saw the injured animal. As he was trying to help the dog, he was reportedly struck by another vehicle. The driver did not stop to help him. Another person who was also driving through the area saw the body of a dog lying in the road and stopped. While checking on the dog, she saw Johnson lying in the grass median along with another injured dog. The driver immediately called 911. Valdosta police officers, firefighters, and EMS responded to the area. Johnson was pronounced dead at the scene. Police say tips led them to the dark-colored Dodge Charger believed to be involved in the hit and run. It is not clear if anyone has been taken into custody for the deadly collision. Johnson was a 16-year-old high school football player at Valdosta High School. In an Instagram post, the Wildcats said they were heartbroken and devastated by this tragic loss. Rest in peace, Sam, the team wrote. A memorial service for the team will take place on Sunday at 2 p.m. at Perimeter Road Baptist Church. He will be buried in a cemetery in Lowndes County. Johnson was the second high school football player killed in recent days. Brandon Smith, who played football at Manchester High School, died the day before his team played in the state championship game at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. 
If you have any information about the crash, please contact the Valdosta Police Department Bureau of Investigative Services at 229-293-3145, the crime tip line at 229-293-3091, or file a tip online at www.valdostacity.com slash police dash department. Savannah Morning News. South Georgia teen fatally struck by car while attempting to rescue. Injured dog. Caitlin Stropage, published, December 12, 2023. Savannah Morning News. A 16-year-old was killed in South Georgia after being struck by a vehicle while attempting to rescue an injured dog. According to the Valdosta Police Department, Samuel Johnson, Jr. was walking along Inner Perimeter Road on Saturday evening when he saw an injured dog and attempted to rescue it. Johnson was fatally struck by a vehicle that did not stop at the scene. The vehicle was later located and taken into custody by police. A passerby saw a deceased dog in the roadway and stopped. The passerby, who called 911, then saw Johnson lying in the grass median, along with another injured dog, according to police. Johnson was pronounced dead at the scene. The case is under investigation, according to police. Johnson was a football player for Valdosta High School. The program's touchdown club posted on social media saying, in part, he was an amazing young man who was taken from us way too soon. As our hearts are broken by the sudden loss, please keep his family and friends in your thoughts and prayers during this very difficult time. Valdosta Daily Times Update, police say car found in hit and run that killed VHS Wildcat. By Terry Richards, terry.richards at gaffelnews.com. Originally posted 11.14 a.m. December 11, 2023, slash updated 5.18 p.m. December 11, 2023. Valdosta, police said on Facebook Monday they found a car. Involved in a fatal hit and run Saturday that killed a Valdosta high school football player. At about 6.15 p.m., Samuel Johnson, 16, of Valdosta was walking in the 3900 block of Inner Perimeter Road when he tried to help an injured dog hit by an unknown car. Johnson was then struck and killed by a second vehicle, a Valdosta Police Department statement said. The car that hit Johnson did not stop, police said. Another person stopped when she saw a dead dog, and while checking on the animal she saw Johnson lying in the grass with a second injured dog. She called E911, and police, firefighters, and EMTs responded, but the teen was pronounced dead at the scene. Investigation showed that the offending vehicle was a dark-colored Dodge Charger with a model year between 2011 to 2014, and police asked for the public's help to find it. It was last seen traveling in the area of Inner Perimeter Road and North Forest Street Extension. It is unexplainable the callousness and disregard for human life that this offender has shown by hitting this teenage victim and leaving him. My heart breaks for the family and friends of Mr. Johnson, who deserve Answers as to why this happened to their loved one. If you know something, please say something. Our officers and detectives will not stop until they hold this offender accountable, said Police Chief Leslie Manahan in asking for the public's help. Late Monday, the VPD announced on its Facebook page that the car had been found but offered no details. Anyone with information about this case should contact the Valdosta Police Department Bureau of Investigative Services at 229-293-3145.
The crime tip line at 229-293-3091 or file a tip online at www.valdostacity.com slash police dash department. Terry Richards is the senior reporter for the Valdosta Daily Times. Driver involved in hit and run that killed got football player has fully cooperated, police say. By WSBTV.com News Staff, December 15, 2023, at 2.22 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Valdosta, Georgia, Valdosta police have found a driver allegedly involved in a hit and run that killed a 16-year-old high school football player. Samuel Johnson died on Saturday after he was hit on inner perimeter road. Police said Johnson tried to help a dog that was hit by a car when a second car hit and killed the teen. Download free WSB TV news app for alerts as news breaks. On Thursday, Valdosta investigators confirmed they tracked down the driver to his home. Police said he has fully cooperated with the investigation and they have not identified the driver. Officers are still processing evidence and interviewing witnesses. The ongoing investigation is a collaborative effort between DPD and the Southern Judicial Circuit District Attorney's Office, Valdosta Police, wrote in a statement. No other details have been released. No charges have been filed at this time. As the police investigation remains open, Johnson's family is preparing for his memorial service. The teen's obituary says family and friends will gather on Sunday at the Perimeter Road Baptist Church at 2 p.m. flowers for the service can be sent here. Johnson attended Valdosta High School and played football for the Wildcats. The entire Valdosta City Schools family sends our deepest condolences to everyone who knew and loved Samuel Johnson, Jr., a sophomore at Valdosta High School and a member of the Valdosta Wildcats. May we find solace in remembering the impact Sam had on each of us and keep his memory alive in our hearts. Sign up, WSB TV Daily Headlines Newsletter.